friends. Welcome to Kungu, Radiographer, channel. Today's topic is about, T-Tube, Cholangiogram. T-Tube, Cholangiograms, are a fluoroscopic, study performed, in the setting, of hepatobiliary, disease. This technique, has been largely, superseded, by M, R, C, P and D, R, C, P. Typically, a T-shaped tube, is left in the common, bile duct, at the time, of surgery, example, cholecystectomy, and allows for, exploration, of the common bile, duct, caladocotomy, and retrieval, of common bile, duct, stones, at a later date, usually approximately, 10 days, imaging, of the biliary, tree, cholangiogram, is performed. Indications 1. Patient must have T-tube in situ 2. Patients with possibility of residual small gallstones post cholecystectomy 3. Obstructive jaundice 4. Bile duct stricture 5. Surgeon unable to explore bile duct during cholecystectomy surgery Contraindications 1. Non consent by patient to procedure 2. Contrast or iodine allergy 3. Pregnancy Pregnancy test required 4. Barium study within last 3 days There are various techniques used to introduce radiographic contrast into the body including 1 percutaneous transatic cholangiography 2 intraoperative cholangiography 3 endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography 4 magnetic resonance cholangiopancreatography preparation 1 some operators prefer the T-tube to be clamped prior to the procedure to allow the bile duct to fill with bile air in the bile duct can give a false impression of a gallstone 2. No diet restrictions Procedure 1. The patient is positioned supine on the x-ray table 2. A slightly R P O position can help to ensure the C B D is not superimposed over the patient's spine. 3. A preliminary scout image of the R U Q should be acquired. Procedure 4. The tip of the T tube is cleaned with antiseptic. 5. T tube should be raised and tapped to ensure there are no air bubbles lurking in the tube 6 a butterfly needle should be inserted into the t-tube procedure 7 the syringe plunger is withdrawn to remove bile from within the duct 8 an early filling image should be obtained 9 the entire biliary tree should be imaged during injection of contrast medium procedure 10 injection should continue until the entire biliary tree is opacified and there is passage of contrast into the duodenum 11 if the intrahepatic ducts do not fill the patient can be tilted trundelenburg and further contrast injected into the t-tube 12. The patient may need to lie on their left hand side to fill the left hepatic duct. 13. At least two views of the entire biliary tree should be recorded by spot film. 14. Oblique views are often taken. Complications 1. Persistent 
Biliary fistula. 2. Biliary peritonitis. 3. Cholangitis. Post procedure. Care. 1. Patient can eat and drink normally. 2. Warn patient to advise of any itching or rash. Post procedure. 3. Patient should remain in hospital for observation for at least 24 hours. Post procedure. 4. If the T tube is removed at the end of the procedure, the wound should be checked for by leakage for 24 hours. For more radiographer information, subscribe my channel, like, share, comment.